watching Let's Chat. You may have heard the news recently right here on News 12 Now that Chattanooga State is going to have their students back on campus when fall semester begins. Rebecca Ashford is joining us now, and she is the president of Chattanooga State. Rebecca Ashford, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing very well. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about your plans, the overall plan for students and faculty to return to campus. Well, um, we just started yesterday uh, our um, the, the next phase of our return to campus plan for the summer. And we're being very cautious and very kind of a slow phasing in of people returning to campus. So right now, right now we still have a very small number of employees on campus. In fact, we're still encouraging almost everyone to continue working from home. Right. We do have, um, we have classes going. Our summer classes just started yesterday. The majority of our classes this summer are online. Now we have, at, at Chattanooga State, we have kind of two campuses. We've got the college credit side, which is more your tra traditional degree programs. And we also have our TCAT, Tennessee College of Applied Technology, which is much more hands-on. Now, our college credit side, that, those classes are completely online. And we, so we have about 2,000 students enrolled this summer who are in a completely online environment. We do not anticipate that they will need to come to campus. When uh, the fall returns the and you have students and faculty alike returning to campus, obviously you're the one who's at the captain seat of the ship. Are you going to be afraid to go back? Well, I'm on campus right now, and again, we have very, very few people on campus. So we have currently about 500 students on the TCAT side, and again, those are the very hands-on programs where it's, it's simply very difficult to teach a welding class or an automotive class in an online environment. And those sure. classes, and we do have some students um, on the credit side finishing up some engineering labs and some health sciences labs from the spring. And all of those students and faculty are maintaining social distancing. We allow no more than 10 people in a room at a time, and they have to keep the six feet apart. Every employee and every student, who, and we are not allowing guests on campus right now except on a very limited basis, um, but everyone who comes to campus has to complete a daily assessment online. And they do that prior to coming to campus. And so they get, once they complete that daily assessment, they get a text sent to their cell phone, which they pre then present at our guard shack. We only have one entrance to the campus open. And anybody coming through there has to show proof that they've answered this self assessment. When the time comes, how are you going to determine which? additional courses will open up on campus and which ones will stay primarily online? Well, for the summer, all of the, all of the college credit to traditional classes will be online. So that is the plan. For fall, of course, our tentative plans for fall are to have more of a traditional schedule. However, our, we, we are, of course, watching the media outlets, listening to recommendations coming from the state and local officials. And we know that there, we need to plan for, for a possible resurgency. So the plan for fall, not summer, and summer goes through August, but the plan for fall is that we would be, have more of a traditional schedule, but then be ready to transition to online very quickly. Right. In doing that, we would have some of our classes that will have more hybrid classes where students come to cl class a couple times a week in person but have an online component. That way they're already comfortable in that environment. We're going to be doing training over the summer for our faculty to help them to get prepared to, uh, to teach online. Understanding that many of our t many of our faculty were already teaching online prior to COVID-19, and many of our students, about 30% of our students, were already taking at least one online course. However, All right. we do understand that many of our faculty do need some training so that they can feel comfortable and be the best teachers they can possibly be in an online environment. We plan to do sure. that training over the summer. 
All right. We are out of time. I hope we can pick this conversation back up here in a few weeks. Rebecca Ashford, we thank you so much for sharing a few minutes with us. If you want to find out more information about exactly what Chattanooga State plans to do, go to their website, chattanoogastate.edu. Again, that is chattanoogastate.edu. Thank you.